Hello everyone, this is Tina. I'm going to cover spring security. Uh, <clears throat> now let's first take a look at about uh, uh, first, what is uh, spring security? Spring security is a framework which focuses on providing both authentication and uh, authorization to Java applications. Uh, inside the Spring family, there are many, many different projects. Spring Security is uh, one of them. There are many others like Spring Boot, Spring Cloud, Spring Data, a bunch of them. Spring Security focuses on authentication and authorization. Uh, inside of the core of Spring Security, it is just a bunch of servlet filters that help us to do authentication and authorization to our web, web applications. And later on, we are going to take a look at why Spring Security is implemented using servlet filter. And we can also take a look at the default servlet filters used in Spring Security. And we will also take a look at how can we add our own filters inside, inside the Spring Security. Okay. And uh, Spring Security uh, supports diff uh, integration with different technologies like uh, HTTP basic authentic access authentication. Definitely, we're going to use uh, for demo purpose for authentication. And uh, later on, we'll talk about uh, uh, JWT based uh, authentication. Okay. And we are going to uh, first take a look at uh, form login, but uh, we are trying to build a RESTful application. So we actually want to use form, okay, and all of two and uh, others, okay. Um, entire Spring Security is built on top of uh, Spring frameworks, which like using Spring Core, Spring uh, LP, okay. So now, first take a look at what is authentication. Authentication is a process of verifying the identity of an individual or system or entity to ensure they are who they claim to be. Just to identify, you say you are Edward, you say you are Tina, and uh, how can I know you are Tina, you claim to be, right? So that's authentication do. In the diagram below, we also have uh, one diagram, uh, dialogue like, uh, hi, server, okay? I'm the king of Pandora. My name is Edward. And the server, our system will say, sure, what's your password, majesty? Okay. And uh, the client, the king will say, my password is happy coding. Okay. And the server side, we are based on the username and the password it's provided and to verify the system if you are the one you claim to be. Okay. And if the password username, they match to the database, then the server side will say, okay, correct, welcome. That's authentication. And authorization is a process of determining whether a user or system or entity has appropriate permissions and the privileges to access specific resources or perform some actions like a delete a table, delete a user, you know, or execute particular operations within the uh, a computer system, application, or network. Okay, so uh, authorization it tell do you have permission to do actions? Those certain actions. Okay, the dialogue here say uh, after uh, let let me the. Uh, Edward, okay, this king of Pandora say, let me play with that nuclear football. And the server side say, oh, one second, let me check your permissions first. Do you have the permission? And the server side will check, oh, yes, he is a king, he has permission. Okay, now you have the right clearance level, enjoy the nuclear football, okay. So that is authorization. Do you have permission to do something? And definitely, authorization happens after authentic. You might you must be authenticated. Then then we will check your authorization, right? Uh, here is another uh, slide which compare authentication with authorization, and uh, just kind of a summary what we have talked to so far. Like uh, authentication, check that person's identity to grant access to the system. Let me see if I can use the laser here. Okay, system. And authorization is check the person's privileges or permissions or rights 
to see if they have the uh, to, to see if they have the rights to access the resources. And uh, inside the authentication, we have to verify users' credentials. What are your credentials that you need password, okay? And with authorization, we validate the user's permission. Of if for uh, delete a user, it must have a role admin. So with current logged in user, we have if they want to perform delete user this action, we have to check the permission. Does it, he has a role admin, right? Authentication is performed at the very first step, and authorization is usually performed after authentication. After you are authenticated, do you have permission to do something? Here I have another two examples talking about authentication and authorization. In the online banking applications, the identity of the person is first determined with the help of the user ID and password. Okay. And uh, uh, authorization is the administrator decide what privileges or access rights to do each do each user have. Okay, so that's the thing. And here I have another two very simple sentences which summarize what is authentication, what is authorization. Authentication is who are you, and authorization what permission do you have? Okay, very simple. Now let's go to the next slide. Oh, let now. <laughs> uh, I'm going to stop now because the next one we are going to talk about, talk about the next slide. Okay, uh, next video. Uh, so bye bye.